we want to talk about the phenomenon around Andrew Tate, why his message is resonating with young men and uh, why there's, there's ground that the church should be taking in that space. So, yeah. That's good, Jordan. I, I want to just create a little bit more context too. to me. Th- this is something that I pay attention to. Uh, and what I mean is uh, cultural trends specifically on the internet. I mean, for the last mm, year and a half or so, this has been, I felt like a mandate on my life to tr- do my best to reach young people on different forms of media. Right. And so because of that, I, pay a lot of attention to what's being said, what's being emphasized. And I saw a really big shift in the summer of 22. What happened was a few things happened. One of the big things that happened was we all watched the Amber Heard and Johnny Depp trial. Okay. (laughs) It was broadcasted. I mean, the whole internet world was watching it. Most of us were really repulsed by the bulk of it. And I think the most repulsive thing for the majority of people was the sort of toxic femininity that was on display related to Amber Heard. I mean, it wasn't all of it, but that was a big part of it. Okay. Before that, I myself and the majority of the internet had no idea who Andrew Tate was, but it was really interesting to watch as he exploded onto the internet on the back end and the back half or the, uh, after that court case was over. And I, it was so interesting because I just felt in my, I don't know how you want to say it. I just felt in myself. I'm like, I think that there's going to be a big swing. This was before Andrew Tate even hit the, hit the internet. I'm like, the culture is going to react to this case and there's going to be a big swing on the other side where it's masculinity hard. I felt that way. And then all of a sudden, sure enough, Andrew Tate exploded onto the internet and really in a way that I I think the world has never seen, um, specifically how fast he rose to influence and how vast his influence was. Um, I I remember seeing the numbers uh, where he has a basically an online university where there was 150,000 young people that were enrolled in his university. First of all, that's more than any other public university in the world, (laughs) by the way. But specifically what he teaches, one aspect of what he teaches in his university (laughs) is he teaches people how to redistribute his content to make their own money. But so in doing so, he created an army of Hundred over a hundred thousand people basically creating his content. Okay, so we've seen controversial figures, but we've never seen an army of content creators for that p- particular controversial figure, therefore making him almost uncancelable. <laughs> okay, because he actually, after a few months of him on the internet taking over over everyone's page actually got canceled on all the social media websites, uh, the big ones at least, because they didn't want to hear his messaging. And and he got he got bigger in some sense. And to me, I, I feel like he has stayed just as much on the social media sites uh, as he was before he got canceled. And it's literally because the social media sites cannot take down his content faster than it's being made and put up. And it's never been seen before. And so that's a little bit of context. And so people, if you're a little bit older and you're not following social media and type of things, you might be like, why are we talking about this person? I just want there to be really like a lot of clarity on this, that whether you know him or not, he is discipling a generation of young men like no one has ever seen before. And I believe in the history of humankind. (laughs) And so he is very important to understand who he is, what is going on, and this who is this person that's discipling a generation, actually. Yeah. 